Welcome to Wealth Accumulation Channel. It's almost tax season again. What time of year? It's when we worry the most. Why do you have to pay so much tax again? Personal income tax. Capital gains tax. Business tax land tax. There are more than 10 tax items alone. Australian personal income tax. The top tax rate has reached 45%. That's nearly half of what you earn. To the tax office. Ordinary people are concerned about tax avoidance. There are not many ways. But rich people can. Pay less taxes than the average person. Don't even pay taxes. Buffett pays less in taxes than his secretary. President of Amazon. Bezos the former richest man in the world. No income tax at all. While Musk did not pay taxes in previous years. Gain a skyrocket in personal wealth. Wealthy Americans pay an average of 3.4% in income tax. Australia's richest earning over 1 million Australian dollars a year. You don't pay a penny of income tax. So why can the rich not pay taxes? And we ordinary people every year at this time. Are you worried about paying taxes? Because the rich not only know how to make money. Also know how to keep money. Don't let the tax office take it away. I don't know what you guys think. I am concerned about paying taxes. Special disgust. Of course if you like paying taxes. Consider it their social responsibility. Tax honor. Then this video might not be for you. If you are like me. Don't like paying taxes. Then you must watch the video. Because I'm going to explain 7 ways to pay less tax. Way to not even pay taxes. Attention is a legal method. If you learn. Can also be like the rich. Keep more money. Don't let the tax office take it away. 1. Stop making money. Want to pay less or no tax? First thing to do. Just stop making money. This is also for the rich. One of the most commonly used methods. In Western countries. Including the US and Australia. The standard for tax collection by the tax bureau is also called the tax base. That is income. If you can prove to the tax office. You have no income. Then you don't have to pay taxes. If you are a working family. It is a bit difficult to not make money on the books. The rich don't need to make money on the books. Or no income. Because they don't work. But by doing business. Investing and holding assets to make money. What about the workers' tax base? Is your salary? Money not in hand. Tax has been withheld. Then use the tax deducted income. To buy groceries. Pay the fee. When shopping. 10% consumption tax will be paid again. If business. Tax base is not business income. But after deduction of expenses. Net income before tax. If the business income is 100,000. Business expenses are also 100,000. Then you didn't make any money this year. No more taxes. See the difference. One is to pay taxes first and then consume. Pay tax when you spend. The other is to consume first. Pay taxes on the rest. If you have a company. End of each year. The accountant will come to urge you. Spend some money now. Buy a car, buy a computer, buy a bag. Book a business holiday. Buy some decent work suits. Buy some refresher courses and so on. Just to save tax. If you are a migrant worker. Maybe spend on it too. But if you use the company to buy. These items are all available. 
Offsetting operating income. Pay less tax. No tax if your company spends money. If you don't spend money. 25% must be used to pay sales tax. So the government is actually encouraging business. Invest in yourself. Scale up. Pave the way for future business development. And how to encourage. Is to reduce taxes. While for individuals, the government won't encourage you. Do you like to spend your money? Anyway, you should pay tax on your salary. The tax office has already collected. How about another way of thinking? In fact, the government is collecting taxes on workers. Used to subsidize business development. So if you can yourself set up a corporate entity, and the part-time income received by way of operating company. Soon you will find out. Every year you can leave more money, pay less tax. 2. Use a debt strategy. What about the second way to pay less tax? Is to use the debt strategy. The best example of this method is the world's richest man Musk. Musk works part-time without salary. So no tax. But this does not affect the fact that he is the richest man in the world. Someone may ask. Since Musk doesn't get paid. No money, no tax. So how does he pay for the daily expenses? Don't food, clothing, housing and transportation cost money? Can't be everything. Reimbursement by Tesla. Yes. Musk is using this debt strategy. Musk is one of Tesla's largest shareholders. Musk took a stake in Tesla many years ago. Keep receiving. Stock options as performance rewards. What are these stocks worth? From the original $6. All the way to $400. Musk's fortune. It has reached astronomical figures on the books. But only on the books. The tax office can't. Tax on property value. Only after these assets are sold. If you make money, you can only pay taxes. Musk used a trick. This is a trick that the rich often use. That is debt. What about when Tesla stock hit $100? Take it to the bank for a mortgage. The bank saw that this stock was worth money. Okay, then I'll pay $100 a share. 50% loan to you. Interest charged at 4%. If you take the value. $1 million stock collateral. You can get a loan of $500,000. Remember this $500,000 is cash. Can be spent or invested at any time. And on Musk's account, more than 500,000 loans. This money is not income, so there is no tax. Only need to pay 4% interest. And Tesla stock may have a year. Just go up 10%. So Musk got the cash. No tax. Shares appreciate even more. Then if Musk uses the money again to buy a house, maybe the house will continue to appreciate in value. This strategy has been favored by many, admired by the rich, own assets, asset price appreciation, make a mortgage, and then spend or reinvest. Author including Rich Dad Poor Dad. What about Robert Kiyosaki's fortune? Also obtained through this debt strategy. And he never pays income tax. 3. Tax credit. The third method is. Maximize tax deductions. The best strategy is to. Is to hire an accountant. Because one of the responsibilities of an accountant. To help people file their taxes. And receive tax credits. If you are self-employed or own a company, even contract workers. It's like you've opened a door.
The door to tax deductions. Items you didn't expect. Tax deductible. I won't talk about the common ones. Everyone knows. Let me say a few less common ones. For example, to install a work computer. Or tablet briefcase. Even ladies bag. You heard me right, girl bag. Network fee. Mobile phone charges. Purchased on mobile. APP to improve work efficiency. While working outdoors. Required hats, sunglasses, shoes. Bank transaction fees. While working from home. Water, electricity, gas, internet fee. Rent office supplies, electronics, camera magazines. Training fees, car related expenses. These are tax deductible. But if you are just a pure wage earner, only the depreciation of the investment house can be owned. Really no other way. 4. Real estate investment. The fourth method that can help you reduce taxes. It's real estate investment. For example, we bought a set. 1 million real estate. Loan 800,000 interest rate 6%. Rental income 40,000 per year. Pay attention, you didn't earn the 40,000. Because the relevant expenses have not been deducted. What about the cost? Including interest management fee council fee. Water fee maintenance fee insurance fee. The interest rate is so high now. Calculate the miscellaneous. You may lose money every year. For example, a loss of 3,000 a year. But the house is depreciated. Especially if it's a new home. 1 million real estate. Depreciation in previous years may be around 17,000. When you calculate your personal income tax. For example, you earn 120,000 a year. The basic tax is 120,000 but the house itself lost 3,000. There is still 17,000 for house depreciation. Then your tax base becomes 100,000. I paid 6,500 less tax in one fell swoop. Equivalent to a loss of 3,000 from your house. Turned into earning 3,500. Pay less tax. The house itself has added value. Paying less in actuality, and increasing wealth on paper. It's not over yet. Then if the house after a few years. From 1 million to 1.3 million. You can go to the bank, and follow the market price of 1.3 million. Loan 80%. That's 1.04 million. Repay the original 800,000 loan. I have 240,000 cash left in my hand. If not, can be placed in the bank to cover interest. If you find a good investment opportunity. If the rate of return is higher than the bank interest rate. Hurry up and continue investing. You can even buy another house. So what about real estate investment? It's ordinary people who pay less tax. One of the better tools for making money. Not only help you reduce taxes, but also help you make money. 5. Side Hustle The fifth way is to start a side hustle. Be careful, don't take another job. Because part-time work can only make you. Work more, pay more tax. No time to improve yourself. And there is no possibility of future outbreaks. What you should do is build a company. Try to run a business. How about this? With a basic life. Under the guarantee. Start future business. Likelihood of an outbreak. And access to various tax credits. Like building an online business. Or open a. YT channel makes videos. Get customers with traffic. Sell services and goods. It doesn't take a lot of time at all. 
everyone can do it. 6. Overseas Tax Avoidance Strategy The sixth method is Use overseas tax avoidance strategies Is what we always say Overseas tax haven Many internet companies Using this strategy What do you think Google Apple? These big companies How much tax do you pay every year? Probably less than what you paid like a sports company, operates in the US, but it's just a cash flow company, money in and out, not staying in the US, accounting is great, after deducting expenses from income, make profit every year, let's say $200 million, but coincidentally, used by this sports company, trademark ownership, Belongs to a company registered in Cayman Islands Company. That's exactly one year's trademark royalty. That's $200 million. What about the $200 million? From US company to after company in Cayman Islands. No tax. Because the Cayman Islands is tax free. Do you understand? This is how to avoid overseas tax. The easiest to understand. But for us ordinary people, small business owners and business owners, how to avoid tax. That is to look for that. More developed countries can go anytime. Also encourages business. Give an example. Australia's corporate business tax is 25%. Singapore-based company. Sales tax is only 17%. There are more tax cuts. Earned money if. If you reinvest. Such as investing in securities. No dividend tax. No VAT. As long as you are willing to study. Be sure to find the one that suits you. Tax haven countries and entity types. Of course it's still the same sentence. Pure worker. There is no good way to avoid taxes. Only real estate investment. 7. Financial education. The seventh item is also the most important item. Is that you need finances. And financial education. Why did someone hear about starting a company? I quit before I did it. Why do so many people never think about? Use various tax avoidance methods. First of all, I am too lazy to jump out. Own comfort zone. Don't want to change the status quo. Secondly, it has not started. I think I can't do it. No confidence. To solve these two problems. The best way is. Read more inspiring books. Listen to lectures related to financial and business education. Of course follow me. If you see here. Please help me like and subscribe. Forward to your friends. Wealth Accumulation Channel helps you invest in real estate. Win over Australia. Our next video. Goodbye. Bye bye.